What's up guys, my name is Edgar and in this video I'm going to show you how to spice up your gaming setup by adding some of these gaming LED jars. As we all know, the more RGB you have, the higher your FPS will be, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is the basic idea, is to have a mason jar like this with a lid that has an opening at the top. Uh, you can find these at Walmart or your local dollar store. And the idea is to have a board that will lie on top of the jar and right below the lid. Something like that. And it'll have two connectors at the top so you can connect the jars to each other. And on the bottom of the board will have uh, three LEDs. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, and you're probably wondering, you know, hey, how are you going to control these LEDs? Uh, what kind of software you're going to use? And the answer to that is... I'm going to use my PC, my PC's motherboard, which is an MSI X570 Gaming Edge Y5 motherboard. And this motherboard contains two of these RGB LED connectors that supports the WS2812B addressable LEDs. Um, so essentially I'll be connecting my array of jars to these connectors and I'll be using MSI's Mystic Light software to control the lighting. I'm sure Gigabyte, ASRock, and ACES have something similar to this. You'll just have to look into the user manual uh, to confirm. And if we scroll down uh, the user manual here, it states that it supports up to 75 LEDs. Uh, so we're limited to that, but I think this is more than enough of what we need. I'm thinking of doing 10 jars and each jar has three LEDs. So that'll be a, third, a total of 30 LEDs. So we should be good here. Uh, so yeah, that's the basic idea. All we really need at this point is to design this board right up here. So let's get designing. Now that we have the board design, we need to get somebody to fabricate these boards. So what that means is we need to get a company that will actually make these boards for us. And JLC PCB specializes in that. Um, they're extremely cheap. They're very fast and reliable. I've had good experiences with them. So I'm not going to go into great detail on how to do that here. Uh, there's plenty of videos online on YouTube. They'll show you, you know, step by step how to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the design files in the description below. So if you're interested in this project, you can order these boards yourself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to order the board and I'm also going to use their SMT assembly process. So what that means is that they'll design the board, they'll fabricate the board, I'm sorry, and they will also uh, add all the components on the board so all the leds all the capacitors on the board anything they will add to the board so once it arrives it'll be all good to go so the boards just came in and i misspoke in the previous scene i said that uh, jlc pcb will assemble uh, the entire board and that's actually not true at least in this case um, they did assemble the LEDs here and all the components, the capacitors and the resistor on the other side right here. Uh, but they did not assemble these connectors at the top. 
Uh, I actually bought these and soldered them myself, as you can see through here. Um, but yeah, I mean, they look just as designed and I'm really happy how they turned out. Uh, so now what we need is some harnesses that'll basically connect the bars together. So uh, let's get working on that. Okay, so we want to use this harness that came with my motherboard and we want to connect uh, one end to this connector here at the very bottom of my motherboard. Uh, I showed you this connector previously in the user manual. This is the 5 volt uh, LED, the RGB LED connector. So we connect it here and then we want to grab the other end and insert it down this tray here. Uh, just for cable management purposes we'll pull it out the other end and insert it here so uh, it can come out outside the pc uh, and we'll pull it pull it the opposite end like so and then we'll insert it into this bracket here that has a hole and that'll expose the connector to the outside world and we just pull it out and now we have access to that connector from the outside as you can see here we connect this end to the leds and this end is connected to the connector um, so now we're connecting all the jars together um, outside um, and once we finish that we can open up mystic light and get that going Okay guys, now that we have all the jars assembled and put together right below my monitors, uh, we get to open up MSI's uh, Dragon Center. And if we click Mystic Light, this is the software that essentially controls all the lighting to the connectors. And the connector we're interested in is J Rainbow One. So if you hover over it, uh, you can see the connector is also highlighted uh, right over here. So we hover over it and the connector is highlighted. So we select that. And here are the lighting effects that we can choose from. We have a variety of different options and uh, I'll show you my favorite ones here. Uh, so my favorite one, of course, is Rainbow Wave. We apply that and uh, we see the rainbow on the jars. It looks really, really awesome. And this is a really good way to spice up your, your setup. Another one that I really like is clock. Um, so this is somehow a clock. I'm not sure how I understand it. I don't think I understand it to be quite honest, but that's okay. It looks really awesome. Uh, another favorite one is CPU temperature. So this displays uh, the CPU temperature in color. So since my CPU is fairly cool, uh, it displays a blue color. So um, yeah, and you can also uh, select the brightness. Uh, so here I said I have it to level one. Uh, let's select level three and of course it gets brighter and um yeah it's really awesome so uh, let's show one more let's do color shift uh, i'm not sure what this one does 
Oh, I think this one cycles through the colors. Yeah, this is awesome, but it's too full brightness. Oh my God, that's bright. That is super bright, but it looks so cool. Yeah, guys, so this is uh, essentially the project. I have one more trick up my sleeve that I'd like to show you guys. Um, so these jars can also reflect on some of the games that you're playing. And I'm going to show you that right now. The very best feature of this project, and that is to sync up our LED jars to some of our favorite games. So um, in order to do that, we need to go here into Dragon Center, Mystic Light, and we need to select Game Sync. So we hit that and that's selected. And then we go to Razer Synapse. Um, and we can see here that the Mystic Light is shown under connected devices. So this will only work if you select Game Sync and Razer Synapse can detect your uh, MSI Mystic Light. Um, so I'm going to play a few of my favorite games and I hope you enjoy uh, the play here. Sombra online. Just as we be. No one can hide from my sight. So I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I know I suck, but uh, that wasn't really the point. The point was to show you uh, how the game integrates with the lighting that I've made here. And here's a list of all the games that are supported by Razer Synapse and my LED jars. A lot of popular games like Diablo, Doom, Apex Legends, uh, Warframe, and among others. Uh, even Call of Duty Black Ops um, and Dead Cells. That's a good game. So yeah, this concludes the video and I hope you enjoyed uh, the journey of creating these awesome LED jars. And I hope I encouraged you to do your own hardware um, that will be integrated with your setup. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time.